No, you know those two songs, no, not so. Now you can sing them, no, not so. Yes. That one saying, Ne Montana. Uh huh. Asikalanga, Yamukama. Ne Montana. Uh huh. Asikalanga, Yamukama. Uh huh. Ne Thank you so much. Praise God. I'm so also I'm so glad to, to be with you people. Since you came here, you have made a great change to us. Thank you so much. I thank God for you people. Nothing I can expect much to you people. Thank you so much. Christmas how did you learn Luganda? Luganda, <laughs> and Now let's come here. Everyone hold your clothing very well. Just come. You see? Apostle? Okay, we bless the Lord. Uh, this is our third day in Karamoja, and today we are with uh, one of the leaders of the church. These people have so much supported us in interpreting in our door to door evangelism. Actually, yesterday we were with them in the community, they were interpreting us. So we have chosen to bless them with clothing that are going to be used maybe for Christmas and a joy. Everybody has been able at least to get uh, shirts and a uh, pair of trousers. In Jesus' name. So we bless you people. We wish you a merry, merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. We love you. Thank you for serving the Lord. We pray that God will do you much well. And we expect you to increase that serving in the kingdom of God. And above all, keep that zeal of always serving and not giving up on serving the Lord. So the apostolic banquet loves you and everyone loves you. So may God bless you. Enjoy, maybe if you have one word for, for some of us who are, who are going to be seeing this video, you can just share with us one word. How you can speak? One word. You can. God, Amen. hallelujah. Amen. We are very privileged to have you, our dear visitors. We are very appreciative. We thank you for the work you are really doing in Karamoja. As you have seen that this area it is still dry in terms of uh, uh, in different areas as they have also shared a lot i know you have understood everything about this region of karamoja just uh, continue with the same spirit and may the lord continue blessing you and lifting you higher and higher may god bless you please come again uh, and please our donors uh, of uh, apostolic banquet. Please continue with the same spirit, and the Lord will lift you higher and higher. Thank you very much. God bless you. I praise God. And we want to appreciate. Thanks for coming and visiting us. May God bless and reward you and take you back. We wish you a safe journey. Because, okay, we are glad to have you visitors here. Like, people have been having a, a bad picture of Karamoja, drawing bad things of Karamoja that you will not be able to be live, to have life if you reach to Karamoja. Mm -hmm. Maybe. So, that's why we appreciate you to reach us and to witness that is that thing really happening in Karamoja. And you have helped them, you have prayed for them, and God will heal them. Thank you. There is no but there is no price we can pay you back, but God will reward you. Amen. Anyone else? Anyone else? Hey, who are you dying up with? No, no, Mutiki, no, Mulala. No, 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 no,
and this is her bed this is, has been this has yeah. been her bed um, plus this one so when they get this plus this you lay it down and then you sleep but we bless the Lord we have been able to at least to provide a mattress now she's going to be sleeping well in her house and God is going to do her well Pascal where is she are you coming in? I can I take a now uh, she's okay. Right, right here she's. She's one, she's one of the uh, elders. Hey, yeah. You're going to take it, yes. Hey, yes. <laughs> so she, she, she's one of the elders that has received the mattress. As you can see, she's very, very excited and happy for receiving the mattress. You know, she has been sleeping down, but really, it is a great miracle to these people that now she has got a mattress. She's so happy and excited. We bless the Lord for. Uh, for using us to be a blessing to her in Jesus' name. So as you can see, uh, she's very, very excited and we have been able to to give out this mattress to her and she's happy and she thanks God for giving her such a great blessing in her life. Uh, this is Karamoja and this is Lokole village. This is where I've been sleeping and this is a house where they do reside and she's so excited. Mama, you can say bye-bye. Tama <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> People have lined up now for food. Many have come to get their food and clothing. As you can see, please, all of these. Because the joy overwhelms us, you can see everyone is excited here. People are just receiving food in this place. Many of them and clothing. So please enjoy as you can see them and what they are doing. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord for the pastor and uh, elders in the church. So, by the grace of God, we have been able to give out these suits to them. All these beautiful suits for, for the pastors. Just as Hallelujah, praise the Lord, uh, everybody watching us today in the name of our Lord. We thank God for this yet another opportunity to be to come to you uh, on our Facebook, YouTube channel. Uh, thank you for following and liking the Apostolic Banquet. Welcome to 2022. We thank God for availing us yet another opportunity to be this year. And really God has promised us very, very many things. And welcome to the month of February. This is our second month 
we want to apologize for the last month of January. We are not able to bring you the broadcast just because we still wanted you guys to follow what we were doing before to show you what happened in Karamoja in our last outreach. And we thank God that it was really powerful and amazing. And today we are coming to you again and we are resuming. Please, we request you, if you have got a prayer request, please write your prayer request, send it to us in our comment box. You can just throw in your comment. And please, we shall be glad to pray with you and to believe God together with you. Amen. Just write your prayer request right down in, your, in, your, in our comment box and let us know what you want us to pray for and what I believe in God for this year in the name of Jesus. I want to welcome our very first viewers. If you are watching me for your very first time, I'm the Apostle John James and by the grace of God I lead the Apostolic Banquet and here we are sharing with you the love of Christ. Please feel at home. If you have just uh, tagged, if you have just come onto this channel and you did see it before, please stay on because what we are bringing to you is going to bless your life. It's going to do you well. It's going to change your life. It's going to lift you and take you to another level. So be patient. Be here. Follow us. Go search out for more of our teachings that have already been going on for the last year. And God will bless you. I want to thank everybody who stood with us in the reaching out to the people of Karamoja. Indeed, people were so blessed. People appreciated. People were excited. We were able to give out mattresses. We were able to give out food. We were able to... To encourage give out callings we had a great preaching around villages in different villages people were able to come up and join us and really we experienced a multitude of people giving their lives to jesus more than a hundred souls were won. we evidenced miracles that were in our midst we saw god doing miracles instant miracles we thank god for the great move that happened in karamoja and a great testimony we carry there the region had been in the dry season for more than seven months but we blessed the lord when we got there the lord told us to pray for the rain and amazingly before we left the place received rain that was a great miracle for days they were not expecting rain to come and every every place was already dry people had started migrating leaving their homes to find somewhere where there is pasture and water and leaving the elders the elderly in houses and people were dying of hunger famine was everywhere people were very thirsty water was scarce but we blessed the lord we couldn't afford to maybe to dig a borehole we could not afford to give them a source of water but we have a testimony we said we have a god who is able to cater for every man's needs and we blessed the lord that day we stood and called the rain and by the grace of God, Karamoja received the rain and really God was glorified. It was a great time. It was a great season and we really blessed the Lord. What to appreciate you everybody. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for always following the apostolic banquet and really you will surely be blessed. And today I want to share with you a great me uh, message uh, from the Lord and really I believe this is going to be awesome. This is going to speak to your life. This is going to bless your life because it is the word of God. The Bible says the word of God does not go back to him in vain until it has accomplished the task. And the word has been sent to us so that we may ac accept it, we may believe it, so that everybody may experience a change in our life. And today I want to speak a word to you. And I know this word is going to encourage somebody. If you were sick, God is going to touch you right now and you will be healed. If you were troubled, if you were confused, if you were perplexed, the word of God is able to carry you on. That's why we come to you every Friday, every time, bringing you this word. Because we know the word of God will lift somebody. The word of God will raise somebody. The word of God will change someone. It is by the word of God that we receive faith. It is by the word of God that we are encouraged. It is by the word of God that we stand high and we are able to carry on. So saints of God. Be ready to receive the word. And if you are not born again, it is the word of God that brings life. So please don't go. Maybe you wanted to leave the channel. Please don't leave it. Because it is this word that brings life. It is this word that is going to change your life. Please stay tuned and follow what we are doing. Genesis chapter number one. I want to talk about the blessing of God. The blessing of God. How God has blessed us. 
Praise the Lord. Do you know that you were already blessed? I always look at people doing things so that they may be blessed. You see people forging life so that they may be blessed. You see people plotting and doing things, thinking it is that that brings blessing. People have even forsaken God and started walking around and doing other things, thinking that that is how they get into or tap into the blessing. Saint of God, don't be deceived. God has blessed you. You are the blessed of the Lord. God is not plotting how to bless you. God has already blessed you. You are blessed one of God. You are a child of God. And because you are a child of God, you are blessed. In the plan of God, in Genesis chapter number 1, in verse 28. Okay, before we get to 28, let's start from verse 26. The Bible says, Then the Lord said, Let us make human beings in our image. I'm reading from the NLT. Then God said, Let us make human beings in our image. To be like us, they will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the livestock, and all the wild animals on the earth, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. So God created human beings. In his image, he created, in his image, God, he created them, male and female, he created them. Verse 28. Now look at this. God plans to create man. God plans to create you. You were in the mind of God to be created. You were created according to the plan of God. To the extent that you were created in the image of God. In the likeness of him. And God shared authority and power to you. And he gave you dominion. And he gave you power. And said you are going to rule on his behalf. You are going to rule every creature. Praise the Lord. Verse 28 the Bible says. Then God blessed them. After God creating man. The number one thing he did. He blessed man. Saints of God. From the day you were created, God blessed you. You tapped into the blessing of God. The Bible says, He blessed them, then said, Be fruitful and multiply. Amen. After knowing that you have been blessed, I want to tell you what the blessing means. Blessing means having the ability to fulfill what you carry inside of you. Blessing is having the ability to fulfill the vision that you carry inside of you. Many of us desire to be somewhere. You have a lot of things that you do call blessings. Maybe when you build a house, when you buy a vehicle, when you take care of your family, when you get a beautiful wife, when you get married to a good husband, when you find every life fancy and good, that's what we call a blessing. Anyway, it can be to your sense. But a blessing is ability to fulfill the vision you carry. The potential, the possibility, Amen. It is what we call a blessing. Having money does not call you to be blessed. Amen. Money is not a blessing. Praise be to God. But if you have the ability to do exactly what you must do, if you have the potential to fulfill your vision, then that is what we call a blessing. And that comes from the Lord. And God said, the Bible says, and God blessed them God blessed these people. And what he did what he told them, be fruitful and multiply. Now, the ability to multiply, the ability to bear fruit, only comes when you have been blessed. The ability to make wealth, the ability to increase in life, the ability to build that fancy house will only come if you have ruled, or if you have truly believed that you have been blessed. The blessing of God is not starting at that time when you are planning to, 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 to do something. Peter says, you have been blessed with all spiritual blessings that pertains to life and godliness. You have already been blessed. I want somebody today, just stand upon your feet. Rotate around where you are. Maybe you can touch your head and declare this and say, I am blessed of the Lord. You can speak it louder in your house, in your office, where you are. Touch your head, touch your womb and declare, I am blessed. My family is blessed. 
My ministry is blessed. My children are blessed. My generation is blessed. I am blessed of the Lord. I am blessed. I want to speak to you. You are blessed. The battle is to believe what God has already done for you. But the truth be told, you are already blessed. God is not only plotting to bless you. God has already blessed you. God has already provided for you. God has already made a way for you. Please choose to believe what the Lord has done. Come on. I speak the revelation of this truth to come into your heart. And may God richly bless you. And may God do you well. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Now if you are not born again. What I've spoken may not work in your life because the blessing I'm talking about, the blessing only comes to those who are called the children of God. In John 1, 12, the Bible says, whoever believed in him was given power to become a child of God. Have you believed Jesus? Have you accepted him? If you have not yet accepted, then what I've spoken may not work into your life until when you choose to be a child of God. And it is very easy to become a child of God. Just repeat this prayer with me and you will be, you'll become a child of God. Just repeat this prayer. Say, dear Lord Jesus, thank you for loving me. I accept you today as my Lord and my Savior. Forgive my sins and wash me clean. From today, I declare I'm born again in Jesus' name. Yes, you are born again. You belong to the kingdom. Please write to us. Tell us that you have been born again. You have accepted. And please, we want to help you. We want to nurture you. We want to help you that you may grow in the knowledge of Christ to the full stature of Christ. We love you so very much. Thank you for following the apostolic banquet. Thank you for following Apostle John James. Thank you for loving us. May God bless you. I want to appreciate our partners, everybody who contributes towards this so that we may broadcast this message to you. It takes a lot of money. We want to thank God that you people are there. I want to pray for our partners. Father, in Jesus' name, bless everybody. Whoever contributes to the work we are doing to encourage our generation, to encourage the people. God, I declare the blessing of God upon them. In Jesus' mighty name, let them walk into what you have already availed for them. In the name of our God, Father, bless them, increase them, multiply them. May your stores always be full in Jesus' mighty name. We appreciate that Just Media for always presenting us to you. Thank you, Just Media, for the great work you're doing. We speak a blessing upon you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now I want to pray for everybody. If you are sick, if you if you had some pain, if you needed finances, you wanted God to intervene in your situation. I want to pray for you. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for the ladies and gentlemen that are here today. May the power of God, may the power of God touch you right now, wherever you are. If you were sick, I decree and declare healing. If you were troubled, I speak. May the grace of God bring healing to your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, may God make a way for you. May God provide. May the heavens release and power to your blessing in Jesus' name. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and be and share this link to many, many people and invite them to listen to this message. God bless you. We love you so very much in Jesus' name. I remain the Apostle John James waiting to see you again the next time and tune in always because we are always bringing to you many, many more things that are going to change your life. We are here, the Apostolic Banquet, sharing.